Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In my previous video, we had taken a look at how we can fit a multiple regression analysis model to your data. In today's video, we'll take a look at how we can improve the ability for the model to make more accurate predictions or in other words, how we can improve the adjusted R square of the model. But before we dive right into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for different topics on data analysis across Excel and Python. So let's take a look at it. In we had, let's do a quick recap where we left off. We had seen our data set where it has different variables like if a person is a smoker, the age, the BMI, whether the person has children, the region and this is the charges or the Y variable, the variable that we want to predict, the insurance premium. And we had built a model here whose adjusted R square is very low, that is 0.11 and this means that the adjusted R square tells us how much of the explanatory variables or the X variables can explain the variability in the Y variable or the variable that we want to predict and it, and it, and it is very poor as we can see and we included only two variables here and we saw how to interpret these two variables with respect to the, the variable that we are going to predict. Then we took a look at how we can add a categorical variable and how to interpret the categorical variable as well. Now in today's video, let us take a look at if we can improve the adjusted R square because we cannot use the model as it is for predictions as the R adjusted R square is too low. So let's take a look if we can improve it. So we can improve it by multiple ways by adding new variables which have more significance or by removing certain variables if there are some multi-collinearity aspects. So let's take a look at adding another variable. So this time we'll take another category variable whether the person is a smoker and not and we'll see how it has an impact on the overall model. So I'm going to insert here, I'm going to rename this as smoker y and we've seen in the previous video how to encode category variables. We'll be following the same step here. So I'm going to say equal to if and if the cell is equal to yes, cell is equal to yes, then encode 1 else encode 0. Close it and copy this down. Okay, because remember we can feed in only numerical values to our data. So we need to encode the categorical variables. So now let's create another model and see if this adding this variable has any impact. So let's go to the data tab and go to the data analysis and let's click on regression and now I can let's select the y variable or the variable that you want to predict. Okay. Now let's select the X variable. So I'll say the smoker category variable male age BMI and let's click on the include labels. Okay. We want to put it in the output range. So let's place it below the existing model that we have so we can compare. Okay. Let's place it here and click on OK. And wow, take a look at this. The adjusted R square is now 0.74. So just by adding another categorical variable, you can see that the adjusted R square of the overall model has, is now 0.74. That means now 74% of the variability in the insurance premium charges can be explained by your explanatory variables that is smoker, male, age, and BMI. This is a significant improvement and now this model can be used for prediction. So as we saw in the previous video, the model could not be used, but it could be used for interpreting the variables, but now it can be used for interpreting the variables as, of, as well as for making predictions. So let's highlight this here to, to see the improvement. Okay, this is 0.11, this is 0.74. And let's take a look at the other variables. So we can see here, the age and BMI are still statistically sig significant that they play an important role in making a predictions. And let us do a recap how to interpret this then. For every unit increase in age, the insurance premium would go up by around 259. But we can see in this model now, after including the, the smoker categorical variable, the male category variable is not having any statistical significance. This value is greater than 0 0.05. That means we, ca we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Hence, the male is not having a great impact on predicting the insurance uh, premium. But uh, we see the smoker variable is also less than 0 0.05. So it is, so we can reject the null hypothesis. It is statistically significant. And let's take a look at this number. Wow. So, so how do we interpret this again uh, from a recap from the uh, previous uh, lesson so this can be interpreted as that if the person is a smoker the insurance premium is 23,833 
more than what it would be for a person who is not a smoker. So that's a significant increase in the insurance premium if a person is is a smoker, right? So this is a, a, this variable is of great significance in making the predictions, and now your model has become extremely good. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can improve the model by re removing the multicollinearity between variables. We'll take a look at a previous data set, and we'll also take a look at how we can make predictions using the uh, lower and upper interval. So this can be used to either prove or disprove a null hypothesis. Okay, so we can uh, we'll take a look at that, uh, and uh, so stay tuned for that. And if you like the video, do leave a comment. It encourages me to make more of of such kind of videos. Uh, give a like. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for different topics on data analysis across Python and Excel. Thank you.